Okay, so today's my prep day and um, I'm gonna make some burgers. So I'm just gonna mix them up and put them all together and I'm gonna stick them in my freezer. I love a good burger. I don't know about you, but especially on the grill, I mean, fabulous. And I love making all different types. So this one I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna take my ring off because it's gonna get messy. This is one and a half pounds of 85%, um, 15% um, ground burger, ground beef. And so now this is just one pound of mild ground pork sausage. This is so good in a burger. If you've never had this before, highly recommend it. And then one cup of crumbled blue cheese going in. So this is all gonna get mixed together. I'm just gonna form patties and I'm really gonna wrap them up and stick them in my freezer for another night this week. Okay, so I like to make some big patties. They do actually, you know, shrink down on the grill. But if you're gonna have a burger, I mean, come on, let's go for it. All right. And I do have a problem with, like I can't stand when I have a burger and it doesn't fit the bun. I mean, it makes me crazy. So I like to make them nice and, nice and big like that. They will shrink up. And I'm just gonna keep going here, get them in my freezer, and on to the next task for prepping. Okay, so I got all my big, beautiful burgers and they're ready for me to wrap up and get them in the freezer. So I like to individually just do it. This is a press and seal cling wrap and it's fabulous. Hold it up like that. And it's great because I can just pull one, two, three, or however many I want out. Okay, I'm gonna continue doing that and they're gonna get in the freezer. Okay, so I've got them all uh, wrapped up and labeled. They're gonna go in the freezer. You guys are gonna love these. Okay, I'm getting ready to grill up some blue cheese burgers that I have a little bit of mixture of ground beef and um, sausage, it's fabulous. So I've already seasoned one side, so I'm just gonna add some kosher salt. And you wanna be liberal with this. Good seasoning, I didn't put any seasoning in the burger other than the blue cheese. And I'll show you how we did that. So I did that on prep day. And we're gonna get these on the grill in just a minute and it'll take about five to six minutes per side. Okay, so I'm gonna get the burgers on. I've got it on a medium high. Throwing them on. We're actually trying to beat some Texas rain right now. I think we're gonna make it. These will take just about 10 to 12 minutes total. I'll flip them around in about five, six minutes. All right, these are ready to go. Look at that. Those look so amazing. Okay. Okay, another five minutes and these are gonna be done. Okay, these are done. I'm gonna take these off. You always wanna give about five minutes for the burgers to kind of rest, so all those juices kind of redistribute back in and don't kind of leak out of your burger. So taking these off, and then I'm just gonna throw the buns on. I have them buttered. So hey, if we're having a big burger like this, we're not too worried about calories, right? It's a little bit of a cheat night. These are gonna be so delicious. Just gonna take a couple seconds. All right, we are ready to build our burger now. So I am really particular. This is my own little special sauce here, and I'll give you the recipe, it'll be in the description. But I really like to kind of make sure it's all well distributed, all on the bottom and on the top. You're gonna love this. This is um, some mayo, some horseradish, some yellow mustard, and a little bit of ketchup. It's so good, I'll give you the ingredients, how much I put in. Okay, so tomatoes, you always wanna season them, a little salt really um, brings out the flavor. And we start building. So we've got our patty. I'm gonna put some nice iceberg lettuce. I know iceberg sometimes gets a bad rap, but I love it. Our tomato. And I'm gonna put on some pickled onions that I've made. Um, and I'll give you the recipe for these as well. So some pickled onions right on top. Maybe a few more, I really like them. All right, and dinner is done. Doesn't look amazing? So I hope you enjoy this recipe. It'll be in the description below. Enjoy.